G'day everyone, welcome to this week's Life on the Hulls. I'm Ross, I'm building a 42 foot catamaran from foam core composite materials and uh, there's plenty of videos there showing the whole process right from day one from when I acquired the mould. Today I'm into making the smaller hatch parts. We're trying to get all these small parts done and uh, and complete all the external parts and uh, there's a lot going on up at the boat and this week we're going to be tackling uh, more of that hull extension that uh, customized hull extension that I've done with the external staircase and just showing you how I'm dealing with the drainage around the hatches and a whole heap of other things so plenty to come let's get into it There's a lot of detail work going on down in here. I'm trying to work out this side panel that's going to go down in here. Oh, well, there's Josh. Hey, mate. How are you? <laughs> Thinks I'm talking to myself, but I'm actually not. Well, we all think you're crazy. Come on. <laughs> Good on you, mate. All right, I've got my uh, shape jig down there, and it's defining this particular piece here. It's going to be a bit complicated because it actually curves as it goes down, so I'll get a rough shape, cut it out, and then I'll start again. All right, a bit of cardboard aided design going on here. <laughs> Got my babe on the sugar scoop. My babe. <laughs> Looking hot, honey. <laughs> I'll copy that. <laughs> Who needs clickbait? <laughs> well, I've got a hot chick in a funny suit. No, I'm not being a dick. This is funny. <laughs> That should get some views, I think you in a bloody suit. At least it shows you're working. Yeah, you're not swanning yeah. around in the South Pacific having a good time. That will definitely be bleeped out. <laughs> no, it won't be. South Pacific will work. All right. It will be, um, what, what do they do? Pixelated. <laughs> Pixelated, yeah, definitely. Got some cardboard aided design here for these uh, templates. I've actually spaced it equally all the way up. So I'm gonna get try to get a bit of a, a nice curve here. Now I'm gonna have to draw a line on the actual curve to make sure that I get this exactly the right shape and then I can transfer that onto foam. It's like one of those um, wood stegosaurus <laughs> that you buy. <laughs> but it works because I've got the equal distance all the way down. And now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna scribe an arc level with the top of the curve all the way down and that's my template. So as long as I keep it reasonably level and I'll cut it a bit oversized. But... <laughs> it's pretty basic stuff really, it's just like playing with Lego. It's going to be a brutal cut. Got to drill holes along here to line it up because I'm not game to do it from the other side. Oh, 
Foda. Just about use it in that corner there. Well, I'll make it in your place, honey. Yeah, that totally changed it. I should have cut that one all here. Or do I cut that one now? Decisions, decisions, decisions. Do I wait until I've actually got the stair in or do I take a risk? Oh. Uh, no, I'll leave it. I think I'll leave it. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, well, it looks That's the same as the picture on the boat. Yeah, yeah, it does, yeah. yeah. It's, it's, it's correct, it's just... Messy. It's going to be a mess for a while. So I can put some... I can put a bit of solid glass in there or I can... Well, no, I'm do that. Just replace it with a piece and gel coat it in. Yeah, put some foam. Put some foam blocks. Yeah, foam. fill it, yeah. And then glass it from underneath. Because I've got to get in now. Now I can get I've got to cut the hatch out of there. Yes. I've got to get in without yep. a glass all the back of it. On the inside, yeah, but that's when you get all the stairs in. Yep. But if in doubt, get your flap disc out, because that's next. That's it. Drawing all this off, drawing it flat. Nice thing is, once that's in place, I can move this stair over here and I can go up that way. Would you? Yeah, yeah. yeah I'll use that top shit to access. Mm. So I can go up all here. Make a good set of stairs and then you cut it out. So this is going to be the hatch that's going to swing up and it will incorporate the stair as well because what I'm actually going to do, I want maximum access into here. You don't have to crawl down through a hole. I want to be able to sort of walk through. So the face of the stair is going to actually form part of the hatch. Uh, very importantly, I'm going to leave a dam at the bottom of it for any water that might flow up or hit that and flow away, hopefully. And I'll be able to drain it better than a simple square hatch. I won't have to have a drain tube. I'll be able to drain it down onto this step and away.
Sadly, at this point, the tread and the rise are separated. There clearly wasn't enough epoxy tacking it together. Things like this just drive me insane. The set to try me as the hatch was hinging on the fact that it was attached to the tread and conformed to the shape of the stair form. Easy fix going forward, but nonetheless still very frustrating. All right, that has revealed <laughs> a lot more work so we got to get this bit cut out now I'm gonna leave these little bits here and here because it's actually being supported by the wood but that's giving me now access into there that means I can now put in this back shelf or the bottom step We'll cut this out later. I came up here at uh, eight o'clock this morning and I've done about four things. I've had visitors all day. It, it really is hard to get momentum when you get people coming in and they seem to come in every hour or so and then all of a sudden it's 4.30. So today I've basically cut out the hatch. It's been uh, a busy, busy day. Got the hatch cut out, also cut out the side combing that is going to have a, a combing edge along the top of it and basically that has finished the structure of this uh, of this stair, I've got a. It's nice and solid now. I've actually given it uh, a lot of reinforcement underneath with my wooden framing, and make sure that I'll be able to traffic up and down it while I complete this section here. I've got to decide whether I'm going to uh, fabricate this off uh, somewhere else because it is going to be very very difficult to tie it back into the side there. I've still got a little bit of work to do underneath here, but I'm going to leave it for now. Head home, I've had enough, had another talk at them, I'll tell you now. But uh, that's basically finished to the point that I've got all the components except for the top lip of the combing here, which uh, obviously I'll need to fabricate a bit later on. But yeah, that's looking pretty good. So I need to make some channels for under the hatch of the back steps. And what I've done is I've cut some strips. I've got 10 mil foam here that's actually laminated. So I've cut it into uh, the side sections of the channel are 40 millimeters high and the actual width of the channel is 50 and then ultimately you end up with a slot. Now the hatch will actually sit down inside that. Now I do need to consider how this is going to be drained and I'll just put a picture up here of how I intend to drain this step. It's very important. I was going to put a drain hole in the actual channel and just have a completely circular channel but I found an easier way and that's by using these guys here these small angled parts actually intersect with the underneath of the of the step and what that'll do is allow any water to drain down onto the second step which is has a small dam to stop any water from going back into the boat and straight out over the back uh, landing so these little parts here have been a bit trippy, tricky to make because they are actually a peculiar angle but they'll fit in nicely underneath the actual step and intersect with the hatch as well and uh, and block any water or any chance of any water actually going up into the uh, physical um, compartment underneath. So having a hatch, you can't just put a hatch on, you've got to obviously have a way of dealing with any water, rain water, deck wash water, shower water, or in fact a following sea to run it away uh, now because I've got a hatch at the back.
Oh, it's cold here today. It's uh, it's about 12 degrees C and that's bloody cold. That's about as cold as it gets here. Um, we get around four or five C at night and that's about it. But up to 12, you know, we're feeling like we're in the Arctic. I'm gonna go up and, and do a couple of trial fits. I'm just gonna basically get it all cut now. Hopefully I've made enough of both hatches, one on each side on the port and starboard side. Um, this region here is going to be glued in got a lot of sort of fiddly work it took me almost all day just to fashion these up yesterday honestly it's totally unproductive but uh, i'll get up there and get it done just watching the parking nightmare down here poor old neil's trying to get the, the parking right so the boys can get the vehicles in and out of the driveway it's a nightmare people come in and park right in front of his office and then you can't get another car in or out of the whole premises because i'm um, yeah just it's very laughable i actually like watching from the ivory tower up here to this ivory now very importantly i have quite a large hole here and i've allowed room for me to be able to get in not anyone else so at least if i can fit in here i know that uh, we can service the steering mechanism down in here use it for some additional storage as long as we don't fill it copiously so there's plenty of room to get in here and maneuver around now i do need to have a drainage system so i've come up with this and essentially this is going to fit underneath this lift like so it'll be glued in place and then ultimately glassed all the way around so that it's nice and smooth sectioned pieces that are going to fit And importantly now, any water that lands on the back step here will drain into here. Hopefully by the time it fills up, it's going to then run down these small ramps here that I've actually got here. And you can sort of get my feeling here, so any, as the lid's closed, any water that may flow in here will actually flow down here and out onto the second step. Now I've left a dam down here and I'll just show you what that looks like um, to allow water to hit that step and simply fall off the boat. That's so important. I've actually sloped the steps slightly uh, downwards towards the stern so that any water that hits them will run away. I don't want any pooling water on these back sugar scoops at all. I may have a problem down here, but it's purely the lay of the land on the deck itself. So I could have a couple of problems there. But for now, I'm gonna tidy up the edges of these, get them all ready to, uh, to sand. I'm gonna round them off so that I can then glass them in situ. It's gonna be a bit of work. And there's Jaden called out my name. Be a bit of work here sanding and rounding those off but uh so worth it and it will solve a massive problem here it is uh, three centimeters deep so there's plenty of room here for water to pull and run away i don't want to have any drains in these to run outwards which would mean a through hole in the side of the hole and i simply don't want that